Yachts, private islands, billionaires. Sounds like a fancy lifestyle that only a celebrity would enjoy, right? Wrong! I'm talking about two Canadian politicians on either side of the aisle. Of course, one is our trust fund kid, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, which really I wasn't that surprised to learn that he'd taken a ride on a billionaire's helicopter. So I should be happy to see interim Conservative leader Rana Ambrose call him out and call for an investigation from the Ethics Commissioner, right? Not so fast. Ambrose was calling out Trudeau from the comfort of another billionaire's yacht. That's right. She was on billionaire Murray Edwards' yacht who made his fortune in the oil sands and is part owner of the Calgary Flames. She was on his yacht in the Caribbean criticizing Justin Trudeau for taking a helicopter ride to another billionaire's private island in the Caribbean. I can't even make this stuff up. Justin Trudeau is actually a celebrity. He grew up on the cover of magazines and had an actress mom that reportedly had affairs with Mick Jagger from the Rolling Stones. And I think we've kind of become accustomed to him acting like a celebrity, rubbing shoulders with billionaires and the like. But Rana Ambrose, here, let me show you this tweet from exactly when she was on this billionaire's yacht criticizing Trudeau. It says, Justin Trudeau knew what he did was against the law. All he had to do was say no, but he couldn't resist the billionaire lifestyle. Do you think Rana Ambrose has any room to criticize? Sure, she ran it by the ethics office. Sure, they said it was okay and that she didn't have to report any gifts or benefits unless they were related to her role as an MP. But do you think Rana thought about the optics here? Because it sure looks like Rana Ambrose can't resist the billionaire lifestyle either. So I asked her office about the criticisms she's facing of taking a vacation with a billionaire while pointing the finger at Trudeau about his billionaire vacation. Here's what her comms guy, Mike Storshaw, wrote in response. Ms. Ambrose has followed all the rules that apply to her with respect to her holiday and was open and transparent with the conflict of interest and ethics commissioner, unlike the prime minister. Ms. Ambrose paid for a flight on a charter to the holiday destination along with a number of friends, none of whom are public office holders. Ms. Ambrose discussed her holiday with the Office of the Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner who verified that it was within the rules. Think about the average Canadian, many living paycheck to paycheck and paying taxes out the nose to pay a politician's salary so that they can act like this. This kind of behavior is just disgusting. It's a slap in the face to taxpayers who work hard for their money. And the billionaire she was with? He's no stranger to political issues. He's the same elitist that supported the NDP's carbon tax and then moved across the ocean to London. I asked whether Edwards had any affiliation to the Conservative Party beyond his friendship with Ambrose and this is what Storshaw said. As for Mr. Edwards, I'm not aware of any affiliation with the party. He and Ms. Ambrose's partner have been close friends for more than 30 years. Must be nice having all these billionaire friends, hey? And this isn't the first time Ambrose has shown signs of entitlement. She led expense claims across the board for the first half of 2016, coming in at around 320 grand. The big line item, travel. She also claimed almost 10 grand for a $2,000 a month condo before moving into Stornoway. Must have been a pretty nice condo, but of course, only the best for our politicians as long as they're living off of somebody else's money. You know, I said Rana Ambrose can't resist the billionaire lifestyle. Actually, I don't think she's any different than the Prime Minister in that regard. Billionaires, yachts, outrageous travel expenses. She's just Justin Trudeau light. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click the link to the side to subscribe to Rebel Emails so that you don't miss any of our updates.